good morning to one and all present here today we are going to see about the topic nanotechnology and forensic science uh, the our chief guest is from the savata dental college and the hospitals simats savata university dr s rajesh kumar msc mba and phd he is an associate professor and chief scientist in nano biomedicine lab and aquatic nanotoxicology unit department of pharmacology savata dental college and hospitals and uh, uh, sir has uh, obtained projects uh, uh, around 96 uh, lakhs 51470 rupees and he have published more than 450 manuscripts and he is uh, one of the highest citation person in the savata university almost 7860 uh, citations and books published more than 5 books and chapters also he contributed in uh, more than 25 books and he got patents for uh, 11 projects and guidance in phd um, phd co guides in uh, mds and uh, co guide in mds uh, students and he invited for the guest lecture seminars and uh, chief guest as a, uh, as in conference more than 30 and he is uh, he is uh, present he presented more than he was presented more than national and international conference like 33 uh, presentations organized uh, conferences 50 and international collaborations with uh, more than uh, seven uh, countries like usa australia ireland and so on and he got special recognitions and uh, awards from the year of 2016 to 2019 from the university of uh, savita and uh, he is a reviewer in national science, uh, science center poland united kingdom and a highly contributed paper award by nano convergence springer from korea we welcome you sir for this uh, for this webinar thank you so much uh, dr abiramin for the introduction can we start Yes, sir. You can start sharing. Okay. Uh, I think uh, Chief Guest sir uh, there in blue lab. Mm, I sh uh, I will sh uh, start my presentation, and uh, in between I will stop for five or ten minutes. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dr. Abiram. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay uh, they are in a uh, first lab when they will okay, reach sir. here i will give it just over 5 to 10 minutes uh, gap in this okay sir okay now i will start ppt visible sir ida fine sir yeah okay then. my topic is nanotechnology and uh, forensic science see this background the uh, one image is there no some one uh, one attractive image in background of this uh, first slide so just you can memory this image in your mind and i will explain what is this image in the coming slides and uh, already she introduced me but uh, i would like to say my name dr rajesh kumar and uh, we have the lab of nano biomedicine lab and aquatic nanotoxicology unit in savita dental college blue lab and in our lab we are preparing all types of nano particles nano composites nano formulations and uh, nano based uh, dental products like mouthwash toothpaste dental varnish implant coating endodontic irrigants medicaments and suture materials and then in the biomedical applications we are doing antimicrobial antioxidant anti inflammatory and anti cancer studies and the checking toxicity in brain chimp zebra fish and guppies and then many people said tell nanotechnology nano particles nano materials nano 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 so many people are telling nano then what is nano what is use of uh, it was based on applications only you will use the materials whatever it may be based on the topic if it is uh, applicable to us we will use then we will admire and we will say it will be a good one nanotechnology developed based on the microscope developments see things uh, nano technology used in many applications like defense air filtration food fast moving consumer goods robotics space technology pharmaceuticals healthcare energy applications and uh, cosmetics also 
see when i will say cosmetics um, many people are uh, just you now only they stand and see cosmetics what what applications in cosmetics <laughs> like that they are <laughs> interested uh, to see this presentation i think in many people okay anyway i want to say in that all the fields nanotechnology has the applications day to day life means we know that without phone without laptop without tablet we will not stay for a day for a week for a month we will not uh, stay here because of this gadgets only just we are always we are listening and just we are uh, attend the online class or whatever the day to day always we are using most of the time we are spending with that uh, that information technology based products so i will start with nanotechnology applications in information technology this is just you can see this uh, many people have that uh, smart watches you know that apart from memory cards in 1980s just 2 gb memory card 80000 dollars in that 1990s it will be 200 dollars only 1990s 200 dollars just you can think per dollar uh, approximately 7000 means 14000 for a 2 gb memory card we spent in 1990s in 2 gb memory card is 5 dollar and nowadays you know that uh, you know that uh, see big billion day and amazon prime day like that so many days are uh, happening now and uh, in that the cost of 32 gb memory card is just 350 rupees how can it possible what are the things involved in this in the back side so many researchers scientists are working in this field to develop this product development apart from you know that flexible electronics flexible electronics uh, in market it is available now that is uh, you you know that the flexible uh, laptops flexible mobile phones in that glass itself they are using nano based fibers to flex just uh, you know just you can think we are uh, we always give preference to that small products but it will be a very big application always we think like that only See, just nanotechnology is not to reduce the size not only reduce the size we have to increase the activity with that small size that is the power of nanotechnology and you know just uh, in that image you can see this 1000 gb memory card in only small like uh, see what what we are using now that memory card size you know that only the less than 1 inch Uh, in the size they developed one g uh, one terabyte one tb memory card and apart from recently one uh, srm university scientist developed one memory card 5000 to 10000 gb memory card in that same size just you can think in that small memory card you will carry all the informations all the names of uh, uh, in that year how many people are living on the all the information will save it in that small less than one inch memory card will save all the information that is the development of nanotechnology how uh, are that we are enjoying nowadays apart from nanotechnology in food science just we will start with food because uh, we are all are uh, yearning and we are all living for the food only based on the food only all of our developments all of our energy levels are there so nanotechnology in food science in four different parts are there in food uh, food science and food technology one is materials food safety and security products and processing in that all the divisions nanotechnology have many many applications like in food safety and security nano sensors nano tracers and within in the coming days some development is there and we also applied on project in uh, mos uh, ministry of earth science uh, in that uh, uh, nano sensors just in the small like uh, chip paste to one material we have uh, planning to develop and by using this just you can visit any shops in that vegetables vegetables in the people are using uh, some fertilizers like that material you know just we'll analyze how much chemical is there in surface of that food materials like that we'll analyze and apart from 
in that uh, food science and technology nano particles nano emulsions nano composites nano structured materials they are using it apart from the processing section the nano biotechnology involved in that uh, nano scale uh, reaction and the heat mass transfer and uh, uh, this process and all happens in the industry levels food means not a direct food uh, what we are taking day uh, day to day life and that some snacks like that uh, packed foods we are using now anywhere uh, people are many people are using that packed foods in that packed food is they they just saved it for long term so uh, in that uh, we know people are using many chemicals to preserve this so to avoid this nanotechnology involved in this uh, food processing and technology apart from nanotechnology in agriculture agriculture is the major uh, backbone of the earth backbone of that uh, gandhi also said that the agriculture is backbone of india then villages are the backbone of that agricultural areas so in that agriculture crop improvement crop protection precision farming stress tolerance soil enhancement crop growth in that all the areas nanotechnology involved in that nanobiotechnology involved in that uh, transgenic plant development transgenic uh, plant development have some uh, a lot of uh, issues uh, with ethics and uh, uh, that scientists are developed to uh, reduce that uh, ethical issues why because in that uh, when that uh, biotechnology based uh, agriculture is developed means in the 1930 1920s very uh, uh, uh you you nowadays that the somalia like the, uh, some african countries are very much uh, <coughs> worried because of their uh, food and agriculture and their soils are get wasted because of using a lot of chemicals and so many things and 1930s india also uh, faced a lot of problem due to that uh, climate changes and all and that time only the biotechnology based products are developed to uh, recover the people from that uh, uh, problems so from uh, from the time they uh, that was developed uh, slowly developed the biotechnology based transgenic blast, uh, plant based uh, things but in that research nanotechnology based research will avoid that transgenic based problems in the agricultural area apart from in that nanoparticles there that were three major steps are there first one is preparation characterization and application three major things involved in the nanoparticles and the nanoparticle based product development so uh preparation of all types of nanoparticle and then we want to prove the character of the material is uh, nano size and then applications are uh, in so many areas like biomedical agriculture what are the food science and technology and i told uh, so many applications are there for nanotechnology and it based things see nanoparticles fully based on their characters people say silver nanoparticles uh people are using silver nanoparticle that has toxic in that level uh, in that uh, zinc oxide nanoparticles are toxic in this level and uh, silver nanoparticles are not in antimicrobial activity but it has that uh, some different uh, disadvantages like the people will say but ultimately all silver nanoparticles are not same see that will be varied based on that reducing agent what we are using it for nanoparticle synthesis is very much important see in our lab we are preparing green based nanoparticles many people are doing research uh, in our lab and uh, they know that we are fully we are using plants for the nanoparticle synthesis see that plants what we are using see if you will synthesize silver nanoparticle if you use tulsi for nanoparticle synthesis that has some characters characters of size distribution that is different size to met nanoparticles were synthesized based on that reducing agent and shape may vary surface charge may vary porosity may vary see and uh, 2019 we have published one research article in uh, chemical biological interaction that impact factor 5 i think and in that we clearly explained 
what is shape of the nanoparticle role of the shape of nanoparticles role of size of nanoparticles how it affect the antimicrobial activity see we found that that uh, triangle shaped nanoparticles are showing very good antimicrobial activity when compared to spherical shaped nanoparticles so nanoparticles nanoparticle things fully will depend based on their characters and then many nano uh, materials can replicate some functions of like uh, biological macromolecules because biological macromolecules and biological molecules only decide our metabolism of action in our body you know that and in that uh, so based on that metabolic uh, activity only we will uh, use the drugs and all see for that nanotechnology based products are showing some characters like lipid missiles different polymeric nanostructures protein concept rna carbon dots nano diamonds carbon nanotubes graphene and uh, some uh, inorganic nanomaterials like the silver gold uh, materials what we are preparing in our lab and then uh, plasmonic nanoparticles full clusters are uh, shows that uh, replicate the some functions of biological macromolecules see why we want to use nanotechnology for biomedical applications as a biomedical dental or a basic science student we must want to know exactly in the biomedical applications how nano is the best in nano drug delivery that nano based drug delivery is called as targeted drug delivery system see in that left side you can see this this are a classic drugs how it is working and basically you know that what are all the drugs we are using like from paracetamol to and uh, gibberclamide and the many gibberclamide that is uh, used for uh, uh, some <clears throat> anti diabetic drug i think all the drugs what we are using surely it shows some side effects see even uh, paracetamol uh, cause liver damage see this things if we will take the classic drugs it enter into our body and it distributed to throughout our body see it enters into uh, that the blood stream is there in the blood stream it enters all our body and it will works that particular area as well as it surely it will uh, distributed throughout our body you know so it will stay there and it may cause that is called side effects see like uh, if uh, we know that some anti cancer drug if somebody will affected by cancer they will involve for a chemotherapy in that chemotherapy easily you can identify she is uh, undergone any chemotherapy like that because of that they are called and so many side effects in that body so how we will rectify this problem we want some new solution that is nano based drug delivery system that is targeting that particular site of that if it is inflammation uh, or if it is colorectal cancer it affects that particular area how can it possible means we will coat our drug with that nanoparticles and then just will inject or through orally or uh, iv or whatever it is say we will inject the drug that drug will not affect any of the area that directly which target that particular site see in this one small image uh, the targeting in the nanoparticle we are coating this targeting molecule also will coat with that nanoparticle and in that we will coat the drug and we will deliver it see in this so many advantages are there what are all the advantages first one is avoiding side effects the major thing avoiding side effect see if we will take the drug to the liver and it may affect the kidney it may affect the heart like that some problems are there if we will use targeted drug delivery system it will uh, particularly target that particular organ and it cures that cancer or disease whatever it may be first thing and second thing if you will take the drug of 10 mg if that uh, particular drug is 10 mg is 1 lakh means but exactly how much we want is 1 mg only that 1 mg on drug only going to uh, affect that particular cancer and it cures that particular cancer uh, then what about the 9 mg 9 mg distributed to throughout our body and it may cause some side effect so in this point also this is cost effective we will save 90000 no 90000 apart from main thing is we are avoiding side effects so only we are using nano based drug delivery system 
and this is nanotechnology used in dentistry already i told in our lab itself we are preparing all nanoparticle based um, mouthwash toothpaste implant coating for osteointegration and uh, what about that uh, toothpaste and um, a mouthwash and all involved for the antimicrobial activity like silver nanoparticle titanium dioxide zinc oxide nanoparticle copper nanoparticle chitosan nanoparticles are actively involved in the antimicrobial activity as well as in the orthodontic uh, uh, orthodontic phage is also doing that project like a coating of nanoparticle with that implants and they improve that osteointegration also so this is an anti technology used in dentistry point the nanotechnology in defense and security is a major thing <coughs> today's topic nanotechnology purely in military applications is four different base biology materials information and energy in that biology biological protection chemical protection nerve muscle uh, stimuli bio mechanical hybrids and in the materials like the smart uniform smart helmet 360 vision and uh, exo skeletors and uh, how how it is working means uh, in the two years back one of the drdo scientists uh, visited our lab and uh, he said uh, doctor is it possible to develop uh, edible toothpaste because in so many uh, that uh, military soldiers problems no just they, in that uh, morning they will just uh, 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 brushing after that they spitting based on that content they identify some soldiers are there in and around us so like that uh, they find that particular people so like that they are facing so many problems apart from daily bathing is not possible there also military people are facing lot of problems so they are asking sir uh, we want to wear the dresses for 10 to 20 days uh, but uh, that we want avoid the microbial group we know that what is that the major problem of microbial group why are using deodorant powders and uh, many scent and all why we are using to avoid the smell of that uh, Uh, smell and apart from uh, we want avoid the unwanted microbial growth in that particular uh, area so we have uh, 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 just in our lab we just developed on uh, cloth material nanoparticle coated cloth materials and what are all things we are using now we are enjoying now was developed for a military people only just for example car buses lorry they are uh, developed that um, um, vehicles for the military people only after that only they will get commercialized for a people purpose see like that we want to develop nanotechnology based material for the uh, security that is the military peoples and then apart from this energy in that energy point of view i want to say uh, we want to store a lot of energy in the mobile see if the mobile will get dead and many people are looking dead because of the usage of uh, mobile phones always will use the mobile phone what we are see is uh, if you can ask somebody uh, if, they, if they are interested in uh, it research if you ask it research or uh, something see what is the product you want me i want to use mobile phone for 24 hours uh, <coughs> without charging i want to use mobile phone for 7 days without charging like that only they will ask if god will ask you want any new product like that means they will ask that product only first of all like that people are using that uh, uh, products uh, without failure or uh, without uh, making some other uh, like uh, that is based on fully energy see apart from many developments are there still in india there is less number of uh, electronic cars electronic bikes are there apart why what is the reason means for using that vehicles we want to save more energy in that small area then only possible to develop electrical based vehicles so you know the tesla company you know the tesla car and all uh, they have developed a lot of cars they use nano based energy sectors nano based energy because in that small battery itself see basically what the phone we are using may be 4500 uh, mah 
or 5000 mah mobile phone mobile phones only we are using now and they have developed in that particular small size they have to store 10000 20000 mah power in this then we will use phone for 3 to 4 days or 5 to 10 days uh, see <clears throat> ethically i will not recommend uh, use mobile phones 24 hours just we will use it for our that uh, particular purpose whatever it may be see the development for energy and uh, nanotechnology product is very much important role in this they have developed nano based lithium ion batteries see this product very much useful to the military people see they only want that mobile phones without dead to uh, if they will store a lot of uh, energy in this phone means they will use it for 10 days or 20 days to reach that particular target and all so apart from electromagnetic bombs also developed but uh, we will uh, in that defense security we will not see any ethics any lives in this okay we want to save our life and they are saving our life so in that information technology they have developed lot of uh, small chips uh, in that information sector nanotechnology involved in the micro ir sensors and uh, bio robotics they have developed and i will explain uh, in coming slides apart from that uh, in the uh, nanotechnology used in the response to radiological and the nuclear attack based uh, they have developed some sensors easily identify the bomb and all and then the explosive attacks and the decontamination things and all the nanotechnology actively involved nowadays see exactly nano, uh, that security also in that uh, forensic uh, coming under the forensic and especially in forensic nano particles used in the latent fingerprint bio sensors security features in the documents i will tell you and the dna fingerprint and the gsr analysis that is called the gunshot residue analysis see functionalized nano materials in forensic science especially in the fingerprint identification and uh, in our lab uh, last year uh, collaboration with the dr abirami we did the more than 20 projects in fingerprint identification by using plant powder that is herbal plant powder they especially we used and we used some nano particles also for the fingerprint identification and then homeland security and uh, <clears throat> mainly in sensor applications dna analysis and the explosive detection and all i will explain in that uh, forensic nanotechnology uh, main advantages to uh, for the investigation to catch that criminology on the criminology based applications it was used and uh, that uh, technology development uh, in forensic is a uh, one of the major sector in security okay forensic apart from if you if you is a forensic analysis analyst or they are somewhat intelligent when compared to others because we we have, we have to use people are telling us seventh sense we have to use the seventh sense and then only it is easy to find whatever you see in uh, many tamil cinemas uh, people are uh, many heroes are mostly intelligent you see they will easily identify what is the problem in that smell itself they will identify and just they will see that particular uh, crime scene in that area they will see and they will say these are all the problems are there these are all the things and uh, like that so many movies are uh, you watched i think see in the identification of fingerprints uh, recently we used titanium dioxide nanoparticle to identify just in that fingerprint just will apply that nanoparticle and we will see that size of the nano material is very very small so it is easily bind with that particular fingerprint area after that analysis is is we know that fingerprint is entirely different one from others if he is a brother also if he is a mother father whatever it may be that fingerprint is entirely different and based on that we will uh, find that particular uh, criminals or uh, who is in the crime scene and most recently people used zinc oxide with silicon dioxide nanoparticle combinedly they will make one uh, 
nano composite powder and they detect that later fingerprint in uh, various dry surfaces like dry as well as the wet surface they have identified. And these are all some different nanoparticles used in fingerprints like uh, conjugate polymers, carbon nanoparticles, zinc oxide nanoparticle already I told, and the quantum dots, silicon dioxide nanoparticles, and the electro deposition of metal nanoparticles, and the rare earth metals they used for uh, fingerprint technique. Power cut. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Ah, okay, okay, done. And then in that uh, explosive detection, how the what are all the different nanoparticles, in different aspects they are using is biosensors. Already I told in that the food material like uh, vegetables or uh, fruits, uh, people are using that sprays. So always uh, in uh, grape fruits, that will be white like layer will be there. That will be some spray. They will use it for that avoiding of uh, microbial growth in the grapefruits. So only people always say uh, wash it properly, wash it two to three times, you must wash it. You can wash it with warm water like that. So okay, in that uh, uh, outer surface, uh, some uh, uh, unwanted chemicals will be there. No? For identifying that chemical, we have to develop some sensors. See, it is in that uh, food application I'm telling, in that same thing, in that biosensors uh, uh, used in the explosive detection, because whatever the explosive, that will be a chemical that we would like to detect that particular chemical by using nanoparticles. Okay. And then in that explosive detection, they will use nano wires that the electro, in that uh, sensor itself, lot of uh, different types will be there biosensor, nano sensor, and the electrochemical sensor, because we will not uh, just uh, in that bomb squad in, uh, in the airport and all they will just they will check okay if any chemicals with explosive chemicals will be there in your packet in your bag means that easily identify that will be electrochemical sensor okay that, that uh, always you know that that magnet uh, will uh, will attach with the uh, fe that is uh, iron particles okay like that in the same thing it, is, it will be then electromagnetic chemical which will be in the detector that will detect that bomb will be there or not apart from uh, in, in some um, countries people are using the rat model for sensing of explosives okay especially that uh, in the uh, food explosives that will be in so many countries food explosives are there they used a rat and then based on that, uh, they just, uh, they check their uh, brain of that rat and they, which part actively involved in the sensing of, uh, not only explosives that will catch so many things, apart from in India, the peoples are using uh, dogs also for the detecting of that uh, uh, explosives. So they just smell itself, they identify whether uh, this is not only used in explosives, they will find the people's, their dresses, the smells and are based on the smell, they detect where is that particular person. So like that they are uh, smelling, that will be this. See, uh, people will say, always say, we have six senses, no? That is six sense. Sense means, you know, that just we are sensing, taste is the one sense. And just we'll see, identify light or a dark, that will be one sense. In the here, we'll hearing, that what is that voice is coming? That is one sense. Like that, uh, we we have to use our sense sensibly. Otherwise, people will say you are a nonsense person like that. So we have to use it uh, in that uh, forensic science. Using of your sense is the best thing. So only people say if you are doing uh, if you are doing. Um, a research in forensic science or uh, if you're working in a forensic science department they're like uh, intelligent things they will do intelligently they will sense all those things okay that will be so in that forensic science or uh, like a security purpose people want two times best sensing things in their uh, senses 
okay uh, in that the explosive detection people just be they will take that chemicals and they will identify it by using spectroscopic uh, methods like uh, apart from and always we will use some uh, movie examples uh, <laughs> to uh, uh, explain something in, i think one iron movie and uh, that hero identified that uh, one um, abin or uh, uh, ganja by using they just they will uh, mix with some other chemicals and they will uh, send it to some other countries and they will mix it with acetone uh, he has some acetone or ethanol to dissolve it and in that chemical they identify the ph of the chemical is more than 10 or 20 like that spectroscopic method you will identify uh, <clears throat> what is the exact chemical in this see that is also coming under forensic science uh, identification only like that and the terahertz detection See, recently, two or three days before news, how many people know that in Chinese uh, border, they sent some drones. In security purposes, they will send some drones to identify where is the soldiers present there. Apart from so many uh, nano-based cameras are developed. See, people are using cameras in their buttons, pen knobs, and then uh, you know that uh, so many crimes are happened due to that uh, cameras but act, uh, actually they have developed that cameras for the security purpose only but uh, what to do uh, if that good side will be there the same thing the bad side also will be there will uh, just they have developed this product for uh, that uh, uh, for uh, uh, applications only, but uh, sometimes it may happen. Okay, just we can avoid and we will use these things in the security purpose and uh, nanotechnology play a role in that development of small sized uh, cameras. And uh, uh, that is a reduction of explosive residues and traces in petroleum hydrocarbon, the, because the petroleum based bombs are developed a lot. So just uh, we want to identify that petroleum based products are there in their bags. Seeing that mostly airport uh, and uh, during uh, uh, Republic Day and uh, Independence Day, they, the security people are used to check all the bags, any explosives are there. Petrol uh, people always they will say in buses, uh, you will not allow to take petrol cans. Even if it is off liter also, you will not allow to take because petrol basically it is an explosive one okay it produces a lot of energy so only we will use it in the vehicle we will use it in our bikes it produces a lot of energy only so only we are using it uh, the same energy they will produce it for that bad purposes uh, i told you, you know the scientific development always have one good side and bad side you know that the world first discovery is you know what is this what uh, uh, discover is fire. That fire is the first discovery and uh, first invention is wheel. They have developed uh, fire uh, for good purposes. See, in uh, uh, per day, uh, thousands of people are killed or uh, they died because of fire only. So if you will take many scientific development, the same good things, bad things will be there, but we'll use it for a good thing. See like that petroleum based bomb, they will, uh, that explosive, they will identify it by using nano based sensors, whether they have very small amount of petrol, very small amount of diesel in their bags or whatever it may be, okay. See next thing is DNA technology. Uh, first of all, all are want to know, we have one of the best nano based material in our body what is this this see if it is uh, always i i i would like to uh, take seminars it is a, this is my 31st seminar presentation always i would like to interact with the students and the webinar is somewhat boring when compared to that uh, direct uh, interaction with people okay then okay uh, just coming to the point the best nanomaterial in our body is DNA. 
just you can think if you will cut you just you can take one meter tape one meter tape and you can cut it in more than 10 lakhs and one crore time one crore pieces is it possible very very difficult to cut it and make it all like materials the, uh, then we will uh, if you will cut one meter material into 10 lakh or one crore pieces then you may get small nano sized material see that our dna is less than under nanometer only less than under nanometer material that is dna carries uh, all the informations of your father and mother and see just why my hairstyle is look like this why my, my nose is look like this why my hands are look like this why my height is this much why my uh, like that uh, why so many characters are transferred from the father and mother to you okay that is because of that nanomaterial that is called dna deoxyribonucleic acid that is a wandering material in the world so it's based on dna only we have developed like this okay based on dna only what are all the characters just you can think the difference between one male and female is 0.00001 percentage only you are also same um, <clears throat> homo sapiens sapiens i am a homo sapiens sapiens just a difference in that dna okay dna is uh, one of the wandering material that is nano sized material that was very much uh, interesting to do some research with the dna and then in that forensic science based on dna you will identify the criminals in that crime scene small uh, blood dot if we if we will take just a blood small dot in the blood we will identify who is that okay that will be possible the development of dna based technology is a major thing that is a dna was developed in the biotechnology era itself and it was uh, developed more in nanotechnology era also in that uh, previously during my phd days we have we did one um, research on gold nanoparticles gold nanoparticles that gold nanoparticles how the gold nanoparticles avoid the dna damage we have checked and uh, and the continuation we are uh, now we are planning to do that continuation and then we are planning to publish it in a good journal that is how to avoid dna damage by using gold nanoparticles that thing apart from previous known studies there silicon dioxide nanoparticles they avoided dna damage and because of dna is a nano sized material by using nanoparticles we will do this apart from fluorescent and nanomaterials magnetic nanoparticles two dimensional nano sheets see i told the gold nanoparticles are inorganic nanomaterials which is used in dna nanotechnology okay in that especially that uh, dna the genetic material and uh, unique evidence in that uh, person that the crime of the crime scene very uh, in that especially that magnetic nanoparticles helps to extract the dna from that such a skin and in that crime scene see some uh, 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 killing or uh, rape and uh, in, they have small amount of uh, skin materials in that uh, uh, nails in the nail corner they have small see if it is a, a, a planned crime means just uh, it has some difficult to find if it is a, so here more than 60 percentage of crime is unplanned that is emotional crimes only here it is happening that planned crime means we would like to identify that particular uh, sources like your saliva skin blood salmon and hair you will identify just you can see hair is very very small one in that hair in the end of the just you can uh, pause just you can remove the hair you can see just one small pulp will be there this small white like uh, pulp will be there in that pulp the dna was isolated by using that the uh, pulp uh, we will isolate the dna and we will check with that uh, uh, that uh, um, criminals 
criminals what they have uh, they have one list of criminals you know four or five people so they will easily identify who is that particular person okay so dna exactly it shows uh, sequencing because dna sequencing may vary each and every person okay like uh, it will be uh, two different uh, bases will be there purine and pyrimidine base that is a major thing in dna in that purine and pyrimidine base uh, uh, thymine uracil uh, cytosine like that uh, base pairs will be there in that it shows a t g c c c t a like that in that sequence may vary each and every person that will be there in their blood semen saliva skin mm, uh, like the samples so the nanotechnology based tools uh, like uh, carbon nanotube also used to analyze the dna sequences using atomic force microscopy you see different types of microscopy will be used in that nanotechnology part after the development of microscopes only nanotechnology was developed see first uh, nanotechnology concept set by richard feynman after that in japan they invented atomic force microscope and then after that only scanning electron microscope developed transmission electron microscopy had developed and they will use it for the um, because if we just will say it is a nano material just i have prepared one nano particles and it is in a one grip pass if i will say this is nano particle means we want to prove how we will prove we want to characterize how we will characterize by using transmission electron microscope uh, scanning electron microscope atomic force microscope apart from what are the elements are there in the nano particle we will identify by using x ray diffraction assay and the elemental dispersive analysis four year transform infrared that is fpr analysis will identify what is the nano particle that is what is the size of the nano particle like that. because that nano uh, how will connect with the dna dna is a nano sized material so after the development of nano particles only that dna based technology developed more because of uh, uh, repairing of dna like that the things that was because anyway already i told dna was uh, based technology developed in the biotechnology part biotechnology genetic engineering after that that nanotechnology development uh, which uh, 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 improves that activity in forensic science exactly apart from nano trackers the trackers are barcode and uh, many uh, just in that uh, what are the food items we are using commercial products in back side they have one barcode barcode means just just you can see if you have any product just your phone covers and uh, many products covers they have some barcodes just a four or five lines 10 to 15 like 60 or 70 lines just you can barcode and you have that uh, in the phone scan one option is there no just you can scan it and you can see where is the product from what is the information of the product all will come apart from barcodes they have some symbols just uh, just like uh, one small box and in the box black color some drawings will be there in all the products it will be there in that product just you can take your phone and you can scan one scan option will be there otherwise you can install some software just you can scan it and you can find some something apart from see people are using this technology uh, in that uh, 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 in the airport they are using uh, um, the tickets just they will use the tickets and just throw it out somebody will take the tickets that paper you just were thinking i already used those just i will uh, throw it out they will take that papers and in that paper some barcodes will be there in your mobile phone just they will Uh, scan it and they will find it. see to connect your phone with your uh, laptops you know that uh, web on uh, whatsapp web will be there just you can click it some barcodes will be coming now you just you can uh, for pairing up your mobile phone with the system just you can that you will use it for the barcode that barcodes and all they have developed based on nano based technology apart from they will tools uh see interestingly in a week uh, um, see this is not a politics 
uh, scientifically we have to approach this in what is it in our parliament some problem is going on pegasus uh, people know that pegasus what is it? it was developed in israel country that is one type of software and they have developed it based on some chips why they have developed that pegasus software is see if uh, in that uh, crime criminals are there see four or five times they did some same mistake they came for the um, uh, jail for that uh, they did some criminal uh, criminological things you know they will insert some chips in their body that's one type otherwise they have installed some software in their mobile phones but they don't know the software is there in their mobile phones just they install the software apart from uh, nowadays you know that uh, uh, many girlfriends many wives are uh, using uh, not a pegasus software they are using some software like uh, just they will install the software in their mobile phones and they will find where is he it's just they call just in that software also they see he told i am in tnagar means no 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 now uh, you are in tambaram why are you telling like they are identified by using the software okay that software is and all that is called trackers the trackers actually why they develop the trackers for the military people only for that security people only in that uh, see for uh, that criminal if you will install the software you can monitor where is he okay uh, that is the main thing you know? we want to monitor no that like uh, people uh, uh, after the release also if they will do any mistake they will easily identify see in this date you stay there and you uh, because that uh, automatically activate the locations also and just uh, in c uh, in security police always say don't give your mobile phones to anyone okay that is your personal thing. don't give it to anyone they will so like that so many softwares are there by using that softwares they will operate your cameras that they will act just you just you are thinking my mobile phone is just uh, i locked and just i will keep it there but they will operate by installing like that softwares and then they identify the your calls messages whatsapp uh, history and all they will accept by using that software like the pegasus is the one of the top most software okay just uh, they will uh, install in so many uh, politicians and they uh, they just they will use it for political purpose but this is developed for that security purpose only apart from they have developed nano based chips that chips they install that uh, criminals or uh, in that security mainly uh, so many people who is uh, staying in so many countries just to they monitor what is happening there in the countries in that security people uh, they insert some chips in their body just you can see just they look like a uh, beggar like that they will uh, uh, roam in so many places people are thinking oh, but they are monitored by using that chips that is also developed based there that is under developed mainly for the uh, security purpose only okay and uh, already i don't know uh, uh, see uh, girlfriends or uh, wives are installing their software in that uh, husband's mobile phones and they monitor that they have developed for a big purpose but people are using it for some that is also some of uh, um, uh, security purpose only because in some countries uh, that uh, parents are uh, alert parents are advised to insert small chips in their body that chips will not affect anything just the small chips they will insert in the skin and it is not paining also and they have to monitor where is uh, their uh, child there is a children so for that security purpose nano trackers are uh, majorly involved and after the development of uh, nano based trackers that will be very small so very much useful to the people the dfc that uh, 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 drug facilitated crime that facilitated crime means uh, it will be uh, uh, main purpose of 
they use many nanoparticles especially gold nanoparticles the date of uh, uh, the date rape that uh, uh, drugs are the major problem uh, throughout the world okay in many countries if you will use the drug they directly they will kill I mean especially in uh, saudi like countries if they find if you have one gram of drug drug in the sense that uh, drug they are used for the bad purposes they killed okay in india some liberal uh, uh, are there but the drugs are major people are telling in chennai so many drugs so in that uh, 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 crime of drug facilitated crimes and uh, they used citrate stabilized gold nanoparticles citrate is the one of the chemical that is used to synthesize gold nanoparticles that's one of the reducing agent and um, and that citrate based gold nanoparticle used as a probe and the smartphone camera that is an assisted device attached uh, this and uh, uh, they will identify that uh, drugs see uh, uh, previously i told one example in iron movie no that in the uh, cocaine that is a chemical they mix with some other chemicals and they will make it like a statue and they send it for some other country they identified by adding up some uh, solvents like uh, ethanol and acetone they just dissolved it and they identified this cocaine like a uh, very powerful uh, drug material see based on the drug material so many um, uh, problems like uh, uh, that that makes uh, that um um what to say uh, that induce a, a brain over functioning that induce a brain for negative things to do the so many negative things so uh, they use uh, gold nanoparticle to detect that drugs and using of nanotechnology to estimate the time of death and uh, Uh, this is uh, not only used in that uh, particularly forensic science it is used in forensic odontology and uh, uh, to uh, identify that 1000 years 500 years 100 years of uh, uh, that is uh, previously they used uh, for a carbon dating okay based on the date they will identify in that crime scenes in the changes of high rigor mortis post mortem hypostatic and the uh, unit blade uh, changes in the decomposition that and all will be identified by using nanoparticles like a uh, fluorescent nanoparticle like uh, cadmium sulfide nanoparticle selenium nanoparticles so somewhat it is a fluorescent basically it has some fluorescent uh, capability that will be used in the diagnosis of diseases uh, they used so there are some references uh, it is in my lab already i told and this is a aquatic nanotoxicology unit uh, mm, <clears throat> uh, zebra fish x and thank you so much every ending is a new beginning and if you have any doubts please that's all dr abirami sir yes finished So please stop your screen sharing, sir. Yeah. Okay, ma. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much for this wonderful webinar and. we got so many new ideas for the next star submit projects and uh, upcoming projects also okay thank you and please uh, accept this token of appreciation from our side sir thank you so much and yes. uh, i'm i like to thank uh, dr lakshmi ma'am and uh, the team uh, nano team and uh, the uh, and our uh, academic uh, head uh, dr deepak nalaswami sir and uh, dr shija ma'am for this uh, wonderful uh, uh, accommodation in this online uh, platform thank you so much sir yeah thank you any doubts
Yes, sir. Otherwise, you can mail me or call me and directly meet me and ask your doubts. That is also no problem. <laughs> sure, sir. <laughs> That's all, huh? That's also no questions are there. Okay. Okay, sir. There's two reasons for no questions. One is fully understand, and the another one is <laughs> nothing is understood. Yes, sir. Anyway, okay, I'll take it as a positive yes, side. Confused state. Ah. Whether to ask question or not to ask question, sir. Okay. Okay, you can personally also ask questions. No problem. Thank you okay. so much. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much.